As the parliamentary committee, part of its mandate is to hold the executive arm of government accountable for its management of the public sector. Chairman of the committee, Governor Chuva, says this task of demanding accountability of the executive arm of government for positive management of the public sector is now almost impossible, given the years of neglect and carefree, unaccountable governance. Governor Chufa added that public servants are to deliver services to the people at a cost of 5.7 billion kina, which is 50% of the nation's public expenditure in the 2022 national budget. The lack of an upgrade of the payroll system gave room to abuse, gave room to fraud, gave room to misuse, and it is here where we believe significant monies were diverted unlawfully, deliberately, by various persons, individuals, organizations. He stated that an audit of the Aliso payroll system started in 2014, but had not progressed until the recent audit carried out by Deloitte and there was no interference by the government. He said the various government departments were tasked to make sure the audit is carried out effectively. That we are very pleased to announce uh, for the people of Papua New Guinea, and that is the completion of the payroll audit. One of the first undertakings of the committee was to look at the payroll blowout. The payroll blowout constituted almost 30% of our budget, which is shocking, and for any economy is truly unsustainable. And a report was handed, which the parliamentary committee then handed over to the Prime Minister, as it had been an NEC-directed effort. It is now up to the executive government to implement the recommendations in that report. He highlighted the key findings by the independent audit, saying anyone involved in the misappropriation of funds will be held accountable. You note that there are 11 key findings by the independent audit. I'll just make mention of them. Large amounts were paid every fortnight in some instances, totaling up to 100,000 kina to various public servants. Lack of consistent IT audit and lack of implementation of recommendations from previous IT audits. Demarcation of functions, conflict of interest between Department of Finance, Department of Personal Management. There is a need to upgrade the Alesco system from version 12 to the latest version available at the time of implementation. The last upgrade was done in 2003. Estagane, National MTV News.